Well, hello, my darlings. Today on our channel, I am going to show you how to create a covered makeup tray that is able to hold eight lipsticks or nail polish, a variety of makeup accoutrement, as well as large and small eyeshadow palettes. I do hope you'll stay tuned. For this project, you will need one of these essentials organizer. You will need two napkin holders. You will also need some diamond wrap, any color of your choosing. And you will need two of these acrylic storage plastic trays. You will need six of these cabinet door handles. And of course, you will need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting. So the first thing we're going to do to prepare our makeup case is we're going to place our legs. And to do this, we are going to use our foundation of E6000. And then on top of that, we're going to place just a dollop of our hot glue. As always, that hot glue is going to give us our right now adhesion while that E6000 glue is going to cure over time. And as you see here, there is a demarcation on the bottom of that tray in which we are going to use both ends of that demarcation to place our legs and so just so you can see this process again I'm going to go in with a little dollop of that E6000 and as you can see I'm putting a little bit more than I put on the other one because there's a hole there um, where you can screw that cabinet holder into your cabinet and so the glue is falling into the hole but once you have placed enough and then your dollop of hot glue you just place it into that recess and then what I'm going to do is continue the process with the other two apply some pressure and allow to set for a few seconds so now that we have affixed our legs to the bottom of our tray, what we are going to do is wrap this entire tray in diamond wrap. And to do this, I'm simply going to use hot glue. And what I'm showing you here is you're not going to want to bring your diamond wrap any higher than that little lip that is right there. And this will be important and more apparent when we get to the top. And so as you see, all I'm doing is taking my hot glue, placing a few dollops and strands right where that diamond wrap is going to sit. And once I have placed my foundation of glue, all I'm going to do is place my diamond wrap in it and I'm going to press it down just some light pressure because you don't want to get too many glue fronds. And so while I'm holding this and allowing it to dry for a few seconds, of course, I'm going to complete the process going around the bottom as well as on the top and then I'll be back to tell you what our next step is. So here we have the bottom of our tray and top that have been lined with the diamond wrap as well as our two napkin holders which I wrapped in diamond wrap as well. And so now that we have all of our components ready, it is now time for us to build up our tray. And what I'm going to do here with this essentials organizer that I have lined with non-skid padding I am going to stick or rather glue this tray down inside the bottom portion of my tray and to do this I'm going to go in with a very thin layer of E6000 because my darlings it is not going to take much to glue this tray into the bottom of our tray and then on top of that layer of E6000 I am of course going to put down a layer of our hot glue so that we will be able to get a right now adhesion so that we can continue working while that E6000 glue is going to cure over time and so now that I am 
placing my hot glue if you notice I'm going in random steps at times or following the pattern of my E6000 but once I have placed my foundation of glue down I am simply going to place find my placement apply some pressure hold it for a few seconds and then allow this to dry so while we wait for our tray to dry, what we are going to do is we're going to place the handles to the top portion of our tray. And to do this, what I had to do to make sure I had enough surface area for that cabinet holder to stay is I had to cut out a two by three slot out of our diamond wrap to ensure that the abutment or the bottom part of that cabinet handle would have had place enough to engage with the acrylic and so once you have done that it will simply be a matter of placing a foundation of e6000 glue on your handle and then on top of that a dollop of hot glue and then finding your placement excuse me applying some pressure and holding that handle for a few seconds so that it can dry of course i'm going to repeat the same process on the other side off camera and then i'll be back so here we have our completed components of our tray and here on the inside you will see based on our organizer tray that we placed in there you have space enough to hold a lipstick or a nail polishes some smaller palettes and then of course when we cover our tray you will be able to place some of your eyeshadow palettes on top and so I am going to go ahead and clean this up of any glue fronts they may be there may be I'm going to place some makeup in our tray of course so that you can see just how functional it is and then I'll be back to show you what our finished project looks like well here you have it my darlings our covered makeup tray that we created using all of Dollar Tree products with a little help from amazon.com isn't it lovely not only is it lovely my darlings but it is also functional and you will be able as I mentioned in the intro to hold either up to eight lipsticks or eight nail polishes with a variety of accoutrement on the inside as well as large and small palettes on the outside i think i would have to say my favorite part of this project would have to be the diamond wrap that is attached with black thread i think that this particular diamond wrap just gives this piece a little pop of color as opposed to it just being that clear acrylic or that silver diamond wrap so you tell me my darlings if you have found any value in this video or rather if you were to create this project just how much of it would you create the same or what would you do differently I would love to hear from you and so if you have found any value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below I would love to hear from you to my Danny's darling I just want to tell you thank you for all of your love, your comments, your encouragement, your questions, your feedback. Please know that I appreciate it all. And to those of you who may have happened to stumble across my channel today, we would like to humbly invite you to join our ever-growing community of DIYers as we craft with and learn from each other on a weekly basis. So please feel free free to subscribe and if you do please be sure to click that notification bell so that you will be a part of our notification squad we would love to have you and so my darlings before I sign out for today I would like to leave you with the motto to our channel which is simply this 
why by when you can diy and so my darlings until the next time we shall meet again i say to you guys please 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 take care of yourselves for me know that i love you all bye now